Today's coverage of the 2017 Bay Area Makers Fair is brought to you by my Patreon supporters and viewers like you. Thank you very much. Now on with the show. Hey guys, this is Jimmy with Jimmy Shaw's Tidbits. I'm sitting here today with Joel Telling, none other than... The 3D Printing Nerd. That's right. <laughs> so, how long have you been into YouTube? How long have I been into YouTube? I've had a YouTube account since 2006. Uh, that's when I had my, my, my first account was created, my first channel was created. The 3D Printing Nerd channel has been around for two years since April. Sweet, and you've done a great job. I and mean, congratulations, by the way, on 100,000 subscribers. Thanks, man. I know you're well past that by now. <laughs> I'm at 112-ish wow. right now. But Angus is gaining on me. You know, Angus yeah. is going to, he's going to surpass me any day. Oh, I know. He's, well, you, met you, you got a little bit of an edge, <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's coming up quick. <laughs> it's true. You're going to get up there, too. Eh, it's going to be a while. <laughs> anyway, um, of all your videos that you've done, what is your most favorite video? My favorite video? Favorite in what way? I would say in what you enjoyed the most. The, the one video that you did that you said, you know what, I love that video. Um, that's a really good question. I really like, and I know it isn't the best produced video, but I really like the video where I printed the TARDIS in the magnetic iron from Protopasta, and then my kids and I, we rusted it. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I know it wasn't the best video, but it was one of my favorites because I could include my kids who love to be a part of my videos, and I love Doctor Who, so I could include the TARDIS, and I got to show a finishing technique on a print that isn't very common. That was fun. Obviously, I really like my coin sorter video because it has nearly a million views. That's pretty fun. Yeah, I like that one, too. I, I, the TARDIS one actually is one of my favorites. That was one of the the most amazing things that you could actually 3D print something on a normal FDM 3D printer and be able to rust it because it had actually that much iron content to it. I actually got inspiration from one of Calvin's videos where he did a 3D print with the magnetic iron and I think he used hot glue or something to cover an area yeah. and then he was able to rust a part of the area that wasn't covered and I thought that was cool and I've always wanted a rusty TARDIS I just think it would look cool and so that's why I went ahead with that print to do that. And obviously, it would be kind of interesting to now go back and visit it again, 3D printing it in rust and magnetic iron and then rusting it after applying some safeguards to it. So rusting patterns into it or maybe maybe weathering, rusting it in a weather pattern so that it looked like water had dripped down over time. I think that would be pretty cool as well. That would be extremely cool to watch. I, I hope to do it. I hope you do too. <laughs> so how many printers are you up to now? I keep saying 27. I don't know if that's an accurate number, but it's probably pretty accurate. Uh, at least 27. <laughs> probably 37? No, no, no. It's not over 30. I know that. There's still, I think there's still seven or eight printers in the box that I haven't had the chance to take out of the box because unboxing a printer means I have to find space for it once I take it out of the box, and then I have to make sure that there's room to hold onto the box and the contents before trash picks up or recycling picks up. It's a lot harder than most people think. I can't just take a printer out of the box. I have to take it out of the box and produce a video about it. You know about this, obviously. There's all sorts of footage you have to capture while unboxing a printer that most people wouldn't think about when taking a product out of the box. Actually, I don't know about it just yet, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I definitely know where you're coming from on it. And I gotta tell you, I just love your content. I love your channel. I've been just, just a factory with your channel since the very beginning. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. It it means the world to me like, that people like you are able to watch my content and they like it because I, I want to produce stuff that everybody likes, and it just so happens that some really awesome people, such as yourself, seem to like it. Yeah, definitely. And I've I've always said this this one thing. It was Barnacles that got me started in the three D printing. It was Chuck Hillybuck that got me to have the reason to get a 3D printer, but you're the one that makes it fun. Oh, thanks, man. Aw, oh, that means a lot. I tried to do make it fun, right? And part of my part of my attempt to appeal to an audience is to make it accessible to everyone, and part of that means you have to make it fun for everyone. And in doing that, it just so happens that 
it, it works. So it is fun. It is a lot of fun. I'm glad. I'm glad you have fun with it, Jimmy. That means a lot. I do, and uh, I owe so much to you. And thank you so much for it. And thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me. Uh, I know it's been a long day, so we'll go ahead and end this and get some rest. Hopefully, we can go get a little something to eat too. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe a little rum as well. Rum seems to heal the throat. Uh, I'll have to get a Diet Coke, but <laughs> hey, I'll be a designated driver. More rum for me. That's right. You can have mine too. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and you can catch him on. Uh, you can look up 3D printing on YouTube. I'm usually the first one that hits, or you can go to the3dprintingnerd.com. And I'll definitely put a link to his channel in the video description and up here in the corner. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye. Bye.